Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner on our hard mode adventure as we continue uh, our scouting jobs in Alaska. We have just come through from Pedro Bay into Mountain River. I thought it might work cool as that be in the intro. Quick the change. Uh, what we need to do is just hoss through here pretty much as quick as we can. Always grab and fuel as you go. We want to take uh, we'll just go we'll just go along that's all right we'll just go along the road it's fine that'd be that'd be perfect no worries Got lights on all wheel drive slide about a bit so we're continuing on exactly from where we left off we are just doing our thing same day recording as well, back to back. What a treat. Getting the opportunity to do these. I have been asked. I mean, it probably won't make sense, much sense to be saying this now as this comes out, because this will come out in, you know, in a week or two's time. But. I've been asked a few times when do I think I'll be back live streaming um, at the time of recording this, not for a little while. There's, there's a big difference between feeling like sitting down and just chatting to myself and having a, a record to uh, to feeling up to the social engagement of a live stream. I'm sure you guys understand that, but they will be back. They will be back. They might be back by the time this comes out, so if they are, then know that I am feeling good within myself. There's nothing to worry about. You know how it is. You have you have you have good days. You have you have down days. There's some evenings I've sat and I thought, oh, should I do it? And then I I just you know suddenly I don't even want to get off the sofa. So I just I just sit and I watch and I. I keep myself occupied on the console or something like that, or what's with the, with the missus, but there's still days where I don't even come up here and turn the computer on, just I do not feel up to that. And then, you know, before I put a downer on it for today, today, feeling good, feeling positive. So we're going to try and do as much as we can today. And as an added bonus, it's a day when my partner is at home uh, so she can watch the boy and is doing things. So you may hear people in the background. I do apologize. Right, let's go through for our first trip through into White Valley. The beautiful White Valley, Alaska, US of A. So we've got quite a bit of work to do here. Quite like White Valley. So, to start with, we will, I think we've got, we're going to go up this way and we will trigger the repairing of the tunnel because we we can get from White Valley straight through to Newport, to Newport, to Northport, <laughs> but we have to uh, clear the way. And for that, we need... Uh, small pipes and concrete blocks and we can get them from a warehouse here obviously we'll need a trailer but we've got that marked up for now okay, down here now for the life of me I cannot remember where the upgrades are here but a lot of them are down on the river I do recall that and we are going to take the river as a route. As I've said before, quite often the Stony River is a much easier route than weaving through the trees and up and down the mud. It's just, just easier. You know, if if an upgrade is off to the side somewhere, that means I might miss it and I might have to catch it on another time. I think we might even have one down there so we'll, we'll drive down there and have a little look what's down there because I I forget things as we all know 
But that was much quicker than trying to weave through the, the mud and the trees and everything. Can we go down there? We can. Let's go have a little look. And so I see there wouldn't be a track if there wasn't anything. Or is is that the actual way? Oh, that is the actual way. That's alright then. I was thinking that was, but no, it cuts over. We'd gotten along the river so, so quick, I didn't realise we'd even gotten to the end. So as always, thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you, Eddie. Thanks for coming back. Continue to support the series, support the channel. Hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying Alaska with me. <clears throat> Losing my voice because that's what happens when I start speaking. It's just nice. It's just nice to not be in the brown of um, Michigan all the time. So we do have a fair few uh, vehicles to rescue. I think one of them is up here. We'll just start pulling things along as we go. So it's, it's quite a long map. So if we can grab it as we go, we will. I don't think there's an upgrade this way, but there is this. Collect some goodies going on. So, um, you're the angel I've been praying for. There's a fishing spot on an island nearby connected to the shore by a small stretch of land. I got flooded over there with my car still on the far side. Can you get my car back? We certainly can. We can do that for you. Doing these little um, tow my car, tow my car jobs. Um, it's just another good way of sort of getting out and scouting the land as well. So let's check where we got to go. It's not far. We're just pulling it back to where we want to be. Anyway, so... Makes sense to get it done. I think there might be three, possibly four, our rescue jobs. I might... I might have that wrong, but yeah, there's, it always felt like a few when I've been here previously, so. Let me just hump it over there. Not worried if it's upright or not, personally. <laughs> it'll, yeah, say it'll, it'll sort itself out. They normally do. Because you're towing it, and when you tow stuff, it tends to correct itself. I'm going to see if there's some fuel in it for me, though. Thank you very much. <laughs> there we are, that's that job done. And that's only two grand for that as well. Which is lovely. I'm going to leave that fuel trailer there, because we want to go back up this way to uh, hit the lookout tower. The watchtower. We have to come back to that warehouse a few times, so it's nice to just leave that fuel there. That'll come in handy because we're stocking and doing. I don't think that's for a job at all. I think that's one that is for us. Still trying to keep an eye out for those upgradables. So 
we've uh, discovered the, the weather forecast um, challenge. That's a that's a timed jobby over here. I've just took a screenshot. I don't know if it's you know, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button on my uh, controller. So yeah, that's over here. Weather forecast. We've got a, a small scale field trailer there as well. That's a strange one. You have to come out. You have to tow a uh, service trailer, repair parts trailer, whatever they're called. You have to tell that out. You have to come in the woods here. You have to come up here, there, and then up up the hills here with it, which is you know sometimes a challenge. Sometimes it's quite easy. I, I've done it a few times, and like I say, there have been occasions where I'm like, oh man, that was much easier than last time. And then there are other times I'm like, damn, I'm gonna fail this every attempt. I, th I th think. Maybe we can take a little bit more of a direct route down. I don't know. There's not much to uh, correct us if we do mess this up, but... We'd rather not roll, because, you know, the recovery is only two grand, but it takes us all the way back to the port. There is a garage here, but it's right to the north of the map, so we've got to reach it to unlock it. don't think that uncovered any um, upgrades for us, did it? So we know we're good on that front for a little bit. We will just snag a little bit of fuel, as we always do. It's only you know, a few litres, but I don't think it's a bad habit to have a full fuel tank. So we'll, we'll go around the outside as much as we can and we'll cut inland when we get forced inland. There's like a, an inner circuit and an outer circuit to um, White Valley. Ice peel. Yeah, I was gonna say ice peel. There's one, just there. And here we have uh, international pay star. Must have a modded version as well that uses that. I think the next one is along the uh, the riverbed as well, but we'll uh, we'll see. I think when we came on the stream series, again talking about the stream series, if it's still a thing, uh, we sort of hossed all the way along the the riverbank. If we see it, we'll we'll grab it. The thing is, while you're focusing on looking that way, you don't see anything that might be that way. It might just be sitting up in the hill. They're not normally that close to each other, but you never know. So we are gonna. All right, yeah. Oil rig offshore as well. So that has given us a fair bit. So we've got our logging station. We've got that will do um, wood. That's obviously our logs. That's us wood planks. We have another little scout fuel trailer here. We have a side trailer that's got 
um, spare parts on it. Uh, oil rig service thing, which I can't click on. Uh, we've got Long Bridge, which is here. Deep River Driving, which is another recovery job. So we might go and get that one. I forget where that's going. Ah, so all the way up here. Yeah, we might go and get that. But no upgrade in this visible area. I believe those service parts can be used to build the uh, the small bridge. It's not called the small bridge, it's called the bridge. But you've got the bridge and the long bridge. And since we can attach that trailer to our, our truck, we'll um, probably do that when we get there. Like I say, central scouting and then outer scouting. They are a thing. They're a thing for me anyway. No doubt someone else that's been fishing. And I'm not sure if we can see it from here. Over there, there's another truck that we have to go and get at some point. And we've got upgrades along this um, riverbed as well, or this lake bed. I suppose this is a river, because it flows in and it flows out. It's just a wide bit. So, deep river diving. Hey, help. I was fishing when the river swelled. I had to run for my life or I'd have been washed away. I had abandoned my car. Can you get it back for me? Of course we can. Oh, of course we're going to attach to that as well, aren't we? There we go. I am a big fan of this little load star. It's such a monster. And like I say, we could put even even bigger, powerful engine on it and, and, and different things to make it even more of a monster. I think that would, that would maybe make stuff too easy. Or we just start bouncing and flying about everywhere. It does go a little bit, if you put the bigger engines in, it does go a little bit too quick on the ice and you lose control very quickly. I end up causing more damage than I do sort of in, in effectively getting anywhere quicker. Just trying to keep an eye flashy yellow squares rather than keeping an eye on the vehicle that we're towing. It'll sort itself out. What an absolute unit. Love it. I'm worried I hadn't hit record, but I have. <laughs> Quick check. <laughs> a sudden sinking feeling in my stomach. <laughs> there we are. And you get a watchtower. It doesn't really give us anything. It's right on the edge. So it's mainly uncovering the water. Have a look. Yeah, 
and covers that for us, rather than uncovering in here for us. So we shall come back up. We'll continue on. Uh, we'll we'll go through we'll go through the woodland area. We'll go through that bit. That's the route we'll take. Just uh, <laughs> take out his uh, gutter pipe. No worries, fella. No worries. Here to help. A pleasure as always. Uh, and controllable cameras. Check to see if there's anything about. Oh, yeah, up at the airfield. Let's just go straight across. There's there's nothing down the end there. It is fun to just launch your truck off there if you wish. I'm not going to deny that that isn't fun. Um, I wouldn't advise it on hard mode unless you've got a shed load of cash and you've just come back at the end of your run to do that. Launching the um, 6900 twins there off there, fully juiced up, would be pretty mad. Watching that thing fly and tumble. On stream we did, uh, I think we sent a... Um, CK1500 off it just for fun I think we were able to tow ourselves back over as well with our winch now somewhere up here there is definitely uh, upgrades must be further along maybe let's go get the watchtower that will show us The airfield will be uh, up there a lot later. That will be a busy point for us. Sometimes I think my little scouting trips, like the early episodes when we just got scouted, they feel like the same as when I do uh, farms in map tools. <laughs> Here's the airport. Here is where we'll be collecting bloody bloody blah. If we go around here, we'll find that we've got the factory where we can collect bloody bloody blah. -de -blah, -de -blah. There we are. I did I knew there was an upgrade. I knew it. You swine. Right. Gonna go back and get it. It's just deep enough in the trees to not show up as we drove past and I was probably looking right when I needed to the left I'm going to mark it as well so I don't drive past it again I think you probably blast through from the other side on the runway but
I think it is the other side of the house as well. Yeah. Oh, tree. There we go. Get you out of the way. So it is another raised suspension for the Freightliner 114SD. Not sure if we'll uh, be getting that. It may be something we unlock later on on another map. I don't know. Like I said, I've only ever played the first three. Played the first three many times. Never a DLC, and it's it's insane. It's insane that I've not. Now my console save and my other save that I have on the PC are a little bit ahead of this, so more so my console one. I'm not sure what to do once I finish the three maps. I might. I'll continue. Obviously, I'll continue playing. But I will play the maps on there in a different order from what I play them here. Excuse me, play them here. Because if not, I feel like I'm just sort of pre running. Um, so I'll do different maps. And I'll have forgotten. There's so many of them. I'll have forgotten what I did by the time I do it here again. I, I was thinking on my console, I might just. Once I've finished um, time here, I might do... Because I did question whether to do it that way here. To come and do... Or to do all the American. And then all the... Uh, uh, Russian, Asian ones. Um, or Russian, European ones. So, we've got an all -wheel, engageable all-wheel drive. And that is for the Freightliner as well. So we are finding bits for the Freightliner. So, the Freightliner might not be... A bad option as a future purchase because we know we're going to have the upgrades for it. I shall have to try and remember that. Because when we go to new maps, I want to try and buy a new truck. Now, in not knowing what is found for free and unlocked on the uh, future maps, I don't know what's going to be considered like a waste of money for a purchase. Maybe I'll have to, have to do a little look in on the wiki to see what's unlocked and, and what's not, or what's, what's found for free and what's not, just so that I don't, you know, spend 120 grand on a truck and then <laughs> find that truck on that map or like on, on like one or two maps later. There's nothing wrong in having two vehicles the same if they're good. Absolutely nothing wrong in that at all, but I just feel like when there is such an abundance of vehicles to use, it's a, it's a shame to double up. That's why I wanted to, again, why I wanted to work some mod vehicles in. Because uh, there's, there's some really cool different ones. I'd like to get some of the um, the Ranger modder, RNG, RNG3R, Ranger. They have some awesome, for, for the American maps anyway, some awesome American military vehicles. Um, but unfortunately, none of them seem to take cranes because uh, I guess it's not a not a thing, but yeah, they don't seem to take the cranes. So we're gonna head because there's nothing to unveil what is in here. We're gonna have to drive through it. So we are gonna go down. We've got truck and investigations, which is to pick up that trailer. But because I can't recall where the upgrades are, we might have to go in there to see if there is an upgrade as well. I forgot which way I'm facing. There we go. Right. Get my bearings. We probably. through there. Oh, do you think we can? Not sure how easy that would be. But yeah, another login station. We will be here later. Much later. We'll be here in about 40 episodes. So yeah, there's your, there's our fuel trailer. Shall see if there is a vehicle down there for a stuck thing. Doesn't look like it. It's not nice down this track. I hate this track. I hate everything about this track. 
No, it doesn't look like there is one. Stop myself before I hit the pylon. Again, I, th I th think there is an upgrade buried in the woods down here as well. That's a little way out. That'll bring us th through there. Another road up here. Roots go in all sorts of places. I thought I saw something. I didn't. That's alright. So we are going to go check out the terrible way. Because there's nothing quite like getting in there and churning up a bad route already, is it? Could have sworn, could have sworn an upgrade this way. So we've got metal beams. Not quite really sure where they're going to go. Oh, we have. That's our long, our long bridge. I'm pretty sure that's. Arts. I'm sure that's just parts. Whether we need the metal beams to the long, long bridge. Why try and pull them out with us? A sideboard trailer would be handy as well. It means we could do some stuff with the... Uh, Load, the load star. Yeah, if we bring this out a little ways, easier to retrieve the future. There we go, upgrade. Just as I attach a trailer. So we've got another raise, and that is for the uh, 6900. Encouraging some use of the 6900. Now, if you play a different way from me and you like to hop about the maps and do a little bit like you could but once you get 6900 be like oh right the upgrades are in Alaska hop over here in your scout come around collect all your upgrades and suddenly uh, your 6900 is even better to use for doing the jobs back in Michigan and there is nothing wrong with that I did consider that to be the way of playing this but I just felt like or for this series. I felt like we'd just be doing mass... I mean, we'd, we're doing like four or five episodes of scouting to start with anyway. But I felt like we'd end up doing all the scouting in Michigan. Jump through, do all the scouting in Alaska to just get all the truck parts, all the upgrade parts. And then probably even... I would have gone to Tymere and just struggled so much because I wouldn't have had a vehicle to do it unless I'd, you know, done jobs on the way to be able to afford a vehicle for Tymere. So which way do I want to take these? Um, we shall go back that way with them. And we have ourselves another lumber yard here. M many a lumber yard. 
Alaskan login and there looks to be a job here as well so we'll just sneakily grab that Uh, building materials on mark. I run the local sawmill. I was thinking of expanding my warehouse, but the um, issue is that the bricks I ordered didn't make it because of the recent earthquake. Can you fetch them for me? Except so they, that will be... There's now uh, bricks in the water. So we've got bricks there. There'll be bricks here. And then a bit further along, there'll be bricks there. There'll be three of them. And we'll come and collect them with a the trailer as well. Later. I don't think there's anything around the back here. Nope. Here's hoping we can just drive around it now, now that I've committed to it. Is there a shortcut through there? Oh, there is a little bit of a shortcut in there. Through them trees. start doing that we start to risk stuff don't we we might be able to do the bridge stuff we could use that as a cutting but we have still got all that scouting there to do and up there I think that's going to be tougher to get up and down than um, I'm giving it credit so we'll, we'll not do that I just know we're going to need these metal beams for something, so I just want to get them where they're a little bit more accessible. We just got to take the fence out. Yeah, bricks are there. Oh, I think this bit of river is going to be too too deep. I right, know there's upgrade. Oh, I'll start to lose the trailer if I go away. Right, 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 right. Keep me coming. There's an upgrade at the end of the river where it turns. So. But this track should pretty much take us that way as well. So there's our other brick, and like I say the other lot of bricks are up that way, and the river again is the route to go to uh, to pick them up, in my opinion. I th think... I just want to get this this trailer near to a a more main road, and then we'll uh, we'll head back in. I could just go and see if one of the bridges that need build and need metal beams. I'm just not sure if they do. I think they want wood and service parts. I'm sure of it. But the metal beams are here for a reason, so something 
something somewhere at some point is going to want metal beams here. Uh, have I just gone the long way round to an annoying bit? I think I have. See, and that is why the river is just easier. I've just proven it. We could have just hosted on the... I thought that was going to take us direct to the road. And it hasn't. Oh, do I need metal? Or... No. I've got a tunnel. No. Nope. Just park them here. Get that job over here as well. Um, the bridge. Start tracking. So that just wants two service parts. We can get them. So that's this bridge. We can get two service parts. I can say from that trail from that trailer there. Did we trigger long bridge? Didn't trigger long bridge, did I? Yep. I'm sure it's wood. Get that once. Alright, let's head back in and continue our scouting. Because we have upgrades to fetch. Out this way. Oh, let's just consult my map. Yeah, oh, that's up there is where I'm thinking about an upgrade. But there's probably something in between here then. So yeah, we'll uh, head to the uh, lookout tower, the watchtower next. It's just up there. I remember the first time I tried to do the bricks as well. And I was trying to, I parked on here and I was trying to pick them up from up there. And oh. when I think when you're a bit new, when you're a bit too dubious of things. That's when you make a lot of mistakes. Alright, is there a bit here where I can squeeze under at all? It's all it's quite snowed in, don't it? Can I get under there? No, I'm going to have to go the long way around. That's annoying. Is that any shallower there, actually? Well, that might be. That might be shallower. No. Oh, it's brutal, isn't it, when you touch it? Oh, yeah. So don't touch the pipes. All out of parts, aren't they? Need to get a service parts thing found so I can start to restock myself. Again, why have I come up here when I keep saying the river is easier? Why have I done that? I knew it was going to happen. I tried to save myself. We didn't go to the garage either, did we? Oh, that's proper annoying, that. 
What's the time? Wait, right. We are going to have to go and get a vehicle to um, help us out. So I want to finish scouting. So. To the map. To the port. To the royal. It's a long old trek as well. Or, probably the more sensible thing would be, since we're now here, to start knocking off some of the jobs, and then once we need to next venture back into um, White Valley, to finish off scouting White Valley. It's just that I know there's a truck there, what I would like. We're going to need it to do jobs that are about everywhere, so... I just want to check to see if any of our new upgrades will help us out. We've already stuck top engine in, haven't we? We've got some spare ones that we've picked up. We'll stay, in, mm, stay with the off-road. I think we'll stay with the off-road for now. Suspension stay the same. Tires we're good with. Winch. I might... just a lot of money that's the trouble these winches are a lot of money or I go for a high powered just because I think I'm probably gonna get stuck in places for this I don't know oh it's not let's not but we will we'll buy ourselves a trailer that's all right we've brought up we found upgrades but we're not gonna use them that is fine The only big issue now is I was going to use my Lodestar as like the, the fuel trailer that follows me around all the time. Let's turn that off. Um, and since we can't sell trailers, we are going to quite happily use free trailers. And I want, I think it's near the bottom actually what I want. Because I have so many mods, because I use lots of mod trailers. On my other saves as well. Do I want sideboard semi or do I want? So I've got some off roads that you pay for and some off roads that are free. Well, how did I miss it? I want an off road version of that, please. Off road semi trailer. There we go. There it is. That's what I want. Yep, that's the one. It's a bit big. But, yeah, we'll take that. And it's free, because we can't sell them. And I don't think it's right that we can't sell trailers. So, what we'll do, what we'll do is find us a job. So we've got Stonefall, wants metal beams, metal beams are up there, don't want that job because we are way too big for that. Um, we have Lost Oil Tank is that, we're not doing that. Where are containers in the river? That's what we want. Oh no, we haven't built the bridge yet, have we? Bridge repair, that's metal beams as well. Okay, so looks like we're going to get some metal beams repair the bridge I think it'll be quicker and easier and obviously I haven't done the rock obstacle see this is why I don't like that I haven't done so many other things I would normally do that's metal beams as well <laughs> let's go get some metal beams shall we from the factory going to go the other way though because I can pick up two and then do one route around that's how that'll work I does only want them all in one, at one time oh, doubt myself now because I'm all all a uh, kerfuffle yeah that's all it wants all right it's fine Point, point, point. A little bit annoyed at the roll there, but 
it happens. It's not in a too bad a place to be able to cover that, but it's just getting out there now. It's going to be the pain in the bum. And we will no doubt bring, like I said before, we'll probably bring the, the White West star through to help with some of this work. Um, we have uh, Derry Longhorn to go and collect. Um, the cat, I guess the Caterpillar would have been an easy option to just race through and, and grab that. Hmm. Yeah, but maybe we'll, we'll do this for now. Then maybe next episode we'll um, jump in the Caterpillar and get that up there. I've got to think which way I want to go now. Yeah, just going to mark it up. Just be easier. Rather than constantly down on myself all the time. Just mark it up. Let's just use the markers. Yeah, jump in the cat pillar, go and collect it. But we'd, we'd waste a lot of time and a lot of fuel just driving through with the uh, the royal because i don't want to be starting the jobs that are available in white valley afterwards we want we want to clear out here we want to clear out um mountain river petro bay and then i want to do the tasks in white valley and then we'll crack on with the contracts that's how i want to do it here I'm not sure whether that's going to be the most efficient way again, but that's what I'm going with. Push on through, Royal. Push on through. Get our zoomy in camera. Barely even stopped then and jumped in. Come on. I play them naughty games. Not having the diff lock is where we um, end up using up a lot of fuel here. It's not doing too bad at the minute. But we have a lot of spinning going on. She'll get there. She just takes a sweet time about it, that's all. On the way back, we'll go along the roads because we'll be uh, unblocking the road. But I think this is a, a better choice than going to the factory the other way and then having to, I don't know. Double back twice. Maybe once I have got the load star sorted out and we are 
Uh, and I've figured out where that, the metal beams go. If that comes about, then hopefully then we'd be able to unblock the tunnel pretty quick, because then we have a nice, easy access through if there are incidents. Should be pretty comfortable in high gear for a bit. JBE also have a modded version of the Royal. I've not used it to see um, what the big difference is. Probably uh, <laughs> Diflock. <laughs> Maybe greater stability when uh, when you've got the raised suspension. Get closer, aren't I? Handbrake is the problem. Right. It's because I've been playing on the console, and on the console, we uh, auto load. Because that's a normal mode save. Am I too close now? The anchor. Of course I am. It'll be alright. <laughs> It'll be alright. Uh, on the platform. Thank you very much. Is this our first true load from Alaska? The other one we did... Auto so we could pair of pipes, didn't we? And again. And we'll probably get them to help us get these on straight. Try see if we can make it to the first roadblock. We should have an extra three minutes today uh, because I think we stopped a little early last time out.
Heave ho, fella, heave ho. Not sure if we will make it all that far. How are we for fuel? We're not too bad. Okay, what we'll do is park up at the gas station. Seems uh, as safe a spot as any. And that will call an end to this episode and this day uh, we will continue on we'll, since we set this up we will clear the rock fall we'll build the bridge i think it just wants the metal beams we'll build the bridge and um, then we'll probably jump to the cat and then go and try and rescue our load star and continue on um scouting white valley next time we'll see how it goes we'll see if, if i'm enjoying myself too much here in the port we might we might just stay here for a bit we shall see uh hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have give a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when the videos are live as always comments and feedback down there if you wish to uh, support the channel further than just a watch and a like we do have memberships check them out down below just hit the join button they start from 99 pence uh you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon Bye bye